You know, I'm just going to say it right now. I believe Kyle Shanahan is being overrated by many people. Now, again, is Kyle Shanahan an excellent coach? Absolutely. But also in the same boat, he's overrated a little bit, at least by the media. Why do people have to feel the need to elevate Kyle Shanahan into elite status? It just seems like, you know, oh, Kyle Shanahan has to be in these top five, top 10 lists. And I don't think that's necessarily the case because let's look at Kyle Shanahan's resume really under the microscope, okay? Let's look. Six years coaching as a head coach in the NFL. Three of those six seasons, Kyle Shanahan's had a losing record. What? Losing record? Mike Tomlin's never had a losing record. Sean McVay has only had one losing season. And that was last year when the Los Angeles Rams were dealing with a bunch of injuries. So you're putting him in the elite status category when half of the seasons Kyle Shanahan has coached in the NFL, and we're talking about a pretty sizable sample size He's had below 500 seasons, losing records. And Kyle Shanahan has not been able to win the big game yet. Again, like I said earlier, well, not even earlier, but in previous episodes, the top five head coaches, in my opinion, all of them that were on my list, they won a Super Bowl. And I think that that's a fair thing to evaluate these coaches with. I really do firmly believe that. I believe that the guys that have won Super Bowls, they should be held in that higher status. Until you get to the big game and win the big game, I can't automatically put you in the elite category. Now, again, a guy like Mike McCarthy's won a Super Bowl, and I never considered Mike McCarthy an elite head coach. So it's not just me saying, oh, you got to win a Super Bowl to be an elite head coach, because that's not everything there is to it, okay? Look at a guy like Sean McDermott has had a great quarterback. You know, he hasn't been able to win a Super Bowl. That's one of the reasons why I can't put a guy like Sean McDermott, who's won a bunch of games, in the elite category yet because he hasn't gotten over that hump and he's had a great quarterback. Kyle Shanahan's had great rosters, okay? And not to mention, I'm just going to say right here, right now, here's the head coaches I have over Kyle Shanahan. Andy Reid, Sean McVay, Mike Tomlin, Doug Peterson, Okay, Pete Carroll, Nick Sirianni, Sean Payton, Bill Belichick, and Brian Dable. Those guys, to me, are undoubtedly ahead of Kyle Shanahan. And you may scoff your head at Brian Dable. Daniel Jones was a failing student before Brian Dable came to New York City and helped the guy out. He turned Daniel Jones from a failing student to a passing student. Now, again, I don't know how many more years Daniel Jones is going to pass his class because I don't think Daniel Jones is all that talented, but you get the point that I'm trying to make, okay? So, look, when it comes to Kyle Shanahan, I get it. The play calling is there. You know, um, the creativity is pretty much there. You know, Kyle Shanahan does a lot of things well, but until Kyle Shanahan, to me, wins the big game, I cannot put him in the elite conversation. I just can't. Not over the nine to ten guys I listed because Belichick has been to multiple Super, multiple Super Bowls and won multiple Super Bowls. Sean Payton won a Super Bowl. Nick Sirianni was just in the Super Bowl, and he's just getting started. You know, Pete Carroll has won a Super Bowl. He honestly, just like Brian Dable, turned Daniel Jones into a passing student when he was a failing student. Pete Carroll deserves a lot of credit for helping Geno Smith improve his grades as well. So when it comes to Shanahan, I think the next step for him is just his play calling in big spots and his ability to manage the clock better. I think Kyle Shanahan's clock management is not that good. It's cost the 49ers some games in the past. I think that's one area that he can work on. Again, I have nothing against Kyle Shanahan. I think he's an excellent head coach. And if he wins a Super Bowl this year, you know, I won't be completely shocked because the 49ers have a great roster and Kyle Shanahan is a darn good head coach and he's really good at what he does. But however, until Kyle Shanahan elevates and continues to put together a more sustained body of work and particularly potentially wins a Super Bowl, I cannot say Kyle Shanahan is in the elite category. I believe Kyle Shanahan is just a tad bit overrated at this very moment.